Hello friends, here in this video we will see a problem in which a square plate is used as a gate for a tank. For that we have a question here. I will mark this question and read what is given here. A square opening in the vertical side of a tank has one diagonal vertical and completely covered by a square plate hinged along one of the upper sides. The diagonals of square opening are 2 meter long each. Tank contains a liquid of specific gravity 1.15. The center of plate is 1.5 meter below the free surface. Calculate thrust exerted on the plate by the liquid and position of its center. So this is the question which we have. Now whatever is given in this question I will write that in the form of data. So let us get started. given data here in the problem it is given a square opening in the vertical side of a tank has one diagonal vertical so it means on one side of the tank there is a square opening and one of its diagonal is vertical so for that I'll draw the diagram So here we have a tank in which there is an opening like this and if we look at this opening if I project it so now if I want to look at this opening it is like a square opening with the diagonal vertical so one of the diagonals they are vertical And now, like this, a square opening is here in this tank. And this tank, it is filled with some kind of liquid. The specific gravity of this liquid is given. Now, to stop this liquid from flowing outside, we are, we would be closing this opening the shape of the opening is like a square so again the type of gate which we will use here it will be also in the shape of a square and we will fix it here like this so here we have a square gate which will avoid this liquid to flow outside now this liquid would be subjected to atmospheric pressure and I'll read the question again. A square opening in the vertical side of a tank has one diagonal vertical and completely covered by a square plate hinged along one of the upper sides. So this square plate which I am attaching, I'll call it as A, B, C, D and it would be, would be hinged on the upper side. So here at the point at which it is hinged, it would be called as point A. Since it is hinged, it means this square gate can move in an angular direction. It can rotate about point A. Next, the diagonals of square opening are 2 meter long each. Both the diagonals are 2 meter long. So I'll say that AC is equal to BD and that is equal to 2 meters given. Next, tank contains a liquid of specific gravity 1.15. So here I'll write down S is equal to 1.15. Now, once we know the specific gravity of any liquid, we can calculate its density. So I'll say that therefore, density of the liquid, it will be equal to its specific gravity multiplied by the density of water and that is 1000. So therefore, the density of liquid, it will be equal to, it comes out to be 1150 kg per meter cube. 
Now, after getting the density of the liquid, the center of plate is 1.5 meter below the free surface. So, here we have the center of the plate. I will call it as point O. And this point O is some distance which is given as 1.5 meter from the free surface. So, I will mark this distance from the free surface of the liquid. It is 1.5 meter. Calculate thrust exerted on the plate by the liquid. See, thrust means force. And when we are talking about force exerted by the liquid, that force is nothing but hydrostatic force. So in the problem, when they are saying to calculate thrust, it means they are telling us to calculate the hydrostatic force denoted by capital F. And position of its center. So the position of the center is nothing but H star. That is location of center of pressure. So with these data available, let us try to get the solution for this problem. Now the first question is to calculate the thrust. I will say that since thrust exerted by the liquid is given by that thrust is equal to F and it is equal to rho g area into h bar. I will keep this as equation number 1 because the formula of thrust is nothing but formula of total pressure. Now I will say that we need to calculate area of the plate. So therefore area of square plate it would be given by capital A. Now for simplicity I will divide this entire square into two triangles that is triangle ABD and triangle BCD. I will find the area of both the triangles and then add them. So I will write here that total area is equal to area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BCD. Now in the question they have mentioned that the diagonal is of 2 meter each. So here I have the vertical diagonal as 2 meter. And even this horizontal diagonal is of 2 meter length. So therefore area of square plate is equal to area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BCD. Now area of triangle ABD it will be equal to half into base into height. And here if I see for triangle ABD, BD is the base and AO is the height. I will mark the perpendicular. So it is half into BD into AO plus for triangle BCD, it is again the base is BD. So half into BD into OC. So it is equal to half into BD is 2 and AO will be half of AC. Since AC is 2 meter, AO will be 1 meter. Again, BD is 2 and OC will also be 1. So from this, if I calculate, I will get area as 2 meter square. Now, after getting area, we need h bar. See h bar is directly given in the problem. Actually what is h bar? h bar is the distance of centroid of the plate from the free surface of liquid. And we know that for this square plate centroid will be there at the center. And the distance of this center from the free surface is given as 1.5 meter. It is 
in the problem itself. So here 1.5 meter is nothing but h bar. Therefore, h bar is equal to 1.5 meter. Now I'll say that put all values in equation number one. Put all values in equation number one. So therefore, hydrostatic force or total pressure is equal to it is rho g into area into h bar. The density of the fluid we have calculated in the data it was one thousand one hundred and 50 kg per meter cube g is 9.81 area is 2 meter square and h bar is 1.5 this i am putting the values in equation number one so once i put all the values here i'll get my answer of hydrostatic force it comes out to be 33,844.5 Newton. This is my first answer. And the second part of the problem is they are telling us to calculate the center of pressure. So I'll say that now, since center of pressure is given by center of pressure is given by h star is equal to ig upon a h bar plus h bar i'll keep this as equation number second now here ig we need to calculate that is moment of inertia for the square plate about its centroid so how i can divide that see here if I want to calculate moment of inertia about this center that is at point O about the centroid, I can divide this into two triangles that is triangle ABD. I'll calculate the moment of inertia about the base BD and for triangle BCD, I'll again calculate moment of inertia about base BD. Adding them, I will get the total value of moment of inertia. So I'll say that since moment of inertia about the centroid is given by it is i suffix g is equal to see i'll write down mi that is moment of inertia of triangle i have abd plus mi of triangle bcd and both the moment of inertia i would be calculating about base so therefore i suffix g it's equal to moment of inertia for a triangle about the base it is given by bh cube by 12 here also i have bh cube by 12 so I'll put the values base is 2 and height is 1 meter similar from this I'll get the value of moment of inertia it comes out to be one third meter is to 4 now once I have IG that is moment of inertia I'll say that put all values in equation number two so i'll put the values onto the next page so therefore h star is equal to the formula is ig ig is one third so i'll write down ig upon a h bar area was two and h bar 1.5 plus 1.5 so from this if i calculate h star it comes out to be 1.61 meter this is my second answer 
so now if we look into the question there were two unknown values hydrostatic force and center of pressure hydrostatic force we have calculated this value is 33,844.5 newton and h star just now we have got its value is 1.61 meter so both the values have been calculated and if we see in the diagram centroid is at 1.5 meter from free surface so just below the centroid there will be center of pressure this is the point where there will be cp center of pressure and its distance is given by from the free surface it is 1.61 meter at this center of pressure point the hydrostatic force will would be acting and this force would try to lift this gate so now with these calculations we have completed the problem